Good morning, everyone. You're watching Breakfast Television here on City. Are you working on your spring cleaning? Well, make sure you tackle your medicine cabinet. Patient care pharmacist Agusha McGrath is here now from London Drugs to help us out with what to keep, what to get rid of, and how to do that safely. Good morning to you. Hi, Thank you. you for being here. My pleasure. So this is a really big deal, is getting rid of the medication and doing it safely. Yes. Um, I think it's one of the things that we usually kind of overlook and skip. So what I was wanting to do is just look, show a colleague of mine was um, cleaning out her medicine cabinet. Right. And she basically showed me <laughs> that she's got all of these different types of blisters with different expiry dates, not knowing what, what actually are, are used yes. for. So as soon as you don't know what a medication is or if they are not being um, used, you want to dispose of those safely. Okay. The other thing is expiry dates on the bottle refer to medication stored in an optimal condition, sealed. Every time we open a medication bottle um, to take out medication, we're exposing it to the air, to germs, and so the product starts degrading and it's not um, stable, stable to use. Okay. So anything 12 months and older, you want to dispose of. Okay. In terms of the best way to do it, ideally you want to take the medication, pop it into a Ziploc bag, and then take that into your local London Drugs pharmacies. They have a disposable program. If you take it into your pharmacies like this, they will absolutely... You'll be very happy. Yes, it'll, <laughs> it'll make my day. So this is really important, and we want to do it safely so that it's not la and landing up in the landfill, contaminating our water, because waste, um, water treatments can treat human waste, but not pharmaceutical products. Okay. So that's really why we, why want, we to want to do, do this. this. Yes. Okay, so you've safely disposed of your medicines. Yes. You've given them to the pharmacy. What are the, some of the things that you want to pick up while you're at the pharmacy that you want in that medicine cabinet? at all times so I usually like to have like a couple of key items pain control so anything mm -hmm. for like either acetaminophen um, or Tylenol or you can have an anti-inflammatory it's great anything for a little bit of an antacid if you've had a heavy meal feeling a little bit of heartburn um, anything like a calcium carbonate times something like that, along those lines the only thing is if you have symptoms that are persistent definitely contact your medical practitioner other things constipation or diarrhea you want to have something along those lines coughs and colds, so for sore throats. And ideally, you also want to have, with the season coming up, barbecue season, kids biking outdoor scrapes, you yes. want to make sure that you have um, Band-Aids and some antiseptic ointments along those lines. And ready at whenever the kid comes in crying, oh, look what I've done, you want to have that stuff on exactly. hand. Exactly. One thing I'd like to point out is um, treatment of burns and cuts has really changed nowadays. Okay. So in the past it was you got want to flush it with alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, leave it to air dry, form that scab as soon as possible. Nowadays if you do have a burn, what you want to do is you want to keep it under lukewarm water, cool water for at least 15 to 20 minutes. 15 so, to 20 minutes? Yes, because you oh. want to make sure that the burn is not damaging the area around it. So by cooling it, you're actually preventing further damage to surrounding tissues. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to cover it with um, either light antiseptic uh, cream or you, you can put some aloe vera gel on it. Don't use heavy ointments, no butter, no Vaseline. It, traps the heat in the wound, in the burn and then potentially can cause damage to the oh, surrounding okay. skin. And then you just cover it with a band-aid. With a band-aid. Yeah. Do you have a particular band-aid that you really like? I'm thinking of my really active daughter at the moment. So I was, in terms of um, burns, for me, I really like this moist burn, these pads. What they are, they sterile water that are formulated in almost like a gel kind of consistency. And you peel that off and you pop that onto your burn and it helps soothe the area, it helps decrease the pain that you're feeling, and then you're just wanting to replace this on a daily basis. Once the uh, moisture has been drawn into the burn, uh, you want to just put it under some water, it will help peel it off without any pain. So that's really a fabulous tip that I recommend to my patients coming into the pharmacy, especially now during barbecue season. Right, wonderful. Agusha, we've run out of time, so thank you so much. Fantastic information as always. Thank you so much, Lee.